Hot rodding was born about four decades ago on the makeshift drag strips of Southern California. Dual carbureted flatheads and souped up Chevy small blocks were bolted into low slung chassis. And these homebrewed hybrids jump started a phenomenon that has endured until the present day. And if you want to get a feel for what America's street machine fanatics consider to be high in the hot rodding pecking order, there is still only one place to get the latest line, Southern California. The streets of California are an ever-changing candy store of chrome-plated, clear-coated, carefully built hot rods and street machines scattered across the sunny suburbs of Los Angeles, San Diego, Santa Monica, and the legendary beaches of Huntington, Manhattan, and Redondo. Here in Seal Beach, California, we encountered what has become a very popular style of hot rodding that groups like the Beach Boys and Jan and Dean sang tributes to 25 years ago, the Woody. Woodies, or station wagons with solid wood body panels, have long been the vehicle of choice for the surfing crowd from Malibu to La Jolla. And as we edge ever closer to the 21st century, it appears that Woodies are more popular than ever. Chuck Lombardo is the founder and president of California Street Rods, a California company that builds many of the country's finest hot rods. After many years of hot rod building, he has an educated opinion on why cars like the Woody have flourished in the Golden State. I think we're out here today looking at the California cars. I think they just make a little different statement than, you know, across the United States because the California cars, I think, are a little wilder, a little bolder, a little lower, you know, sitting-wise. I think mainly because of the conditions out here. The roads are a lot, you know, flatter and smoother, so you can lower a car better and you can get a little bit further way out on graphics and paint schemes and things of that nature, especially the Woodies. I mean, the Woodies are known for being out here, the surfing wagons and, you know, way back to the early days with the Beach Boys. Now here's a Woody that really shows some creativity. It's the handiwork of Paul Wilson from Huntington Beach. The car I'm standing next to is a mini Woody. It was a concept that I arrived at on paper in 1972. And it took me about three years to run up some drawings and find some people who were willing to invest a little bit of money to develop the car. Between the years 1975 and 1977, I built 25 of these cars in Chicago, Illinois, which is about as far from the ocean as you can get, I guess. And uh, lost quite a bit of money, but had quite a bit of fun. Doug and Susie Carr of Signal Hill, California, operate a thriving business that fabricates the wood bodies that every Woody worth its wax job proudly displays. This example of their work takes a more traditional approach to the Woody mystique. Uh, this particular project that we've just finished after the, working on it for the last five years is called Hotwood. It is uh, a car that is pretty much built from scratch. We started with an original 1934 Ford station wagon, which they only built 2,900 of, so it's a fairly rare car to begin with. Uh, and we decided to build a brand new uh, chassis from scratch, which uh, was built by Chuck Lombardo, who you talked to earlier. He set up uh, the car with uh, Solid axles front and rear, it runs a 9-inch uh, Ford rear end and it runs power-assisted disc brakes all the way around. It's running a small block Chevrolet with a turbo 350 uh, hydromatic transmission. Well, with so many tricked out performance cars prowling the local streets, you might think the police would be at a disadvantage in the horsepower department, not in Seal Beach. This genuine Celine Mustang wearing a traditional black and white paint scheme is living proof that Seal Beach is a town where excess mischief can be readily dealt with. My name is Jeff Ewart. I'm a police officer and accident investigator for the City of Seal Beach Police Department and operator of our Celine Mustang. It's a state-of-the-art police car incorporating a lot of safety features that make it safe for me as well as other motorists on the roadway. It incorporates uh, four-wheel disc brakes, a suspension package, as well as a full harness uh, safety belt system so that if I have to accelerate very quickly or stop very quickly, um, it uh, keeps me safe within the vehicle. It uh, also utilizes a front and rear radar antenna for speed enforcement. And with all the speedy vehicles that are driving through the streets of Seal Beach and other Southern California communities, it's not hard to imagine that Jeff and other policemen like him can have some very busy days. So, if you're an incurable car nut who has fallen victim to the seductive sights and sounds of woodies and street machines rumbling down the boulevards of Hot Rodding's birthplace, then we haven't told you anything you don't already know. 
Southern California was, is, and always will be the motoring mecca for those who like their ride a bit more on the wild side. So let's head for Surf City, but keep in mind, Officer Jeff is out there. Seal Beach Police Department is wild about wheels, but remember to use your safety belt and drive safely on the roadways.